Hi guys, it's Wendy again. I realized that a lot of the devotionals that I've been sharing, actually probably all of them, have been geared toward those who already have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. But I also realized that there are some of you out there that are watching these that don't really know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And you may be wondering how or why you need to do that. So this, this is for you this morning. Okay, starting off with the bad news, and you can read along with me if you'd like. Um, the bad news is that you and I are sinners and therefore are separated from God who is completely holy. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. God in his justice punishes sinners. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death. We can't save ourselves in any way. Isaiah 64, 6 says, all of our righteousness and good deeds are, are like filthy rags. There's nothing we can do. There's no good deeds we can do to offset the balance of our sin. It, it doesn't work that way. Um, it's kind of like having a jar of water and you taint it with, uh, with ink and it spreads through the water. One drop is all it took and the whole thing is polluted. But the good news is, that God desires that no one should perish, but that all would come to know him and have eternal life through him and, and live with him forever. So he made a way where there was no way. And that's the good news. Jesus suffered and died for sinners in our place, you and me, to save us by his grace, which just means free, undeserved gift, through faith in him. Romans 6.23 says, But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 5.8 says, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You can be saved from the penalty of your sins right now. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, just as if you've never sinned. That's what that word means. And it's with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Romans 10, 9 and 10. If you desire to put your trust in Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, you can do that right now. Simply pray a prayer, something like this, from your heart. And you can pray this right along with me right now. Lord, I know that I'm a sinner and my sin is first and foremost against you. Please forgive me, Lord. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross in my place, taking all of my sins upon himself and paying the full penalty for them. Please help me to turn by the power of your Holy Spirit from everything that offends you I place my life and my will into your hands and ask you to be my Lord and Savior all the days of my life. If you just made a decision to follow Christ, we would love to know about it and to share in your joy, as well as to get some free follow-up materials into your hands that will aid you on this new, wonderful, amazing, glorious journey. Please call 1-800-NEED-HIM. 1-800-NEED-HIM. God bless you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if there is anything that I can do for you, please reach out at uh, Wendy, A-N-N-E, Hunt, Wendy Ann Hunt, at gmail.com. I'd love to hear what you did today, that you um, professed faith in Christ and made a decision to follow him. God bless you all. Guys, I hope the word today really touched your heart and blessed you. Um, please like this video, share it. Please do share it so other people can be blessed by it. Um, and if you would like to pick up a copy of my devotional, Whispers of Grace, you can do so at Amazon.com. And uh, it is filled with encouraging words like this one that I'm sure will, uh, will touch your heart and strengthen your faith.